For those who don't know me, my name is Hasan Karataş. I met Chetin back in 1981 when Selam was very young. Um, and since then we've been connected with Chetin with a special bond. Um, many of you know him from business, golf, bridge. But I have a different perspective that I also wanted to talk about today. He touched so many lives, including mine. Um, Chetin and I went to the same middle school, same high school, about 20 years apart, not around the same time, about 20 years apart. This school is called Darashapaka in Istanbul, Turkey. We call it Dachka for short. Uh, this is a special school. It was founded in 1873. It's a private boarding school, grades 5 through 12, for gifted poor children. So it's, it provides great education for free for boys and girls who couldn't otherwise afford such an education. Um, I mean, this is an amazing school, and because it's a boarding school, we were all together 24-7, seven, seven days a week. And as you can imagine, over time, we uh, formed you know, long-lasting relationships. <laughs> And I guess a bond or brother, but that's really tough to explain unless you are really there. Chetin also went to this school. He lost um, his father when he was very little, and he ended up going to the school. And he benefited greatly from the school, and he always talked highly of this great institution. And he did his best to give back whenever he can. Uh, he never forgot the school. Just last June, there was a homecoming event in Washington, D.C. We made him give a speech. Of course, he talked about the school. He, he went years back and talked about some great times and great memories, and we all loved it and enjoyed it. And we have a video. It's on YouTube. If you want to see it, talk to me afterwards. It's on YouTube. It's a great speech. And he was, again, talking glowingly about the school. Um, you know, Chetin paid uh, his way back in ma many humble ways, but there's one thing that he did that touched a lot of lives, including mine, and I want to mention that briefly. Before I tell you how, let me give you the profession of nine people, you know, what they're doing today, and then we'll go as to what he did. So these are nine people, I'm on that list by the way. Um, an account executive at HP, owner of an alarm company, mechanical engineering manager, chief technology officer, a business manager, four engineering managers at large companies like Lucent, SAP, you know, very accomplished, successful people. These nine people happen to be the graduates of the school that Chetin and I went to. I was the first one of these nine back in 1981. And these nine people, and in a way, our wives and our children, were all touched by an amazing generosity of Chetin. What he did was he founded a scholarship trust fund, and he awarded full scholarships to all of us uh, to go to Drexel for an engineering program. I mean, wow, that's just <laughs> amazing. Um, I mean, this kind of generosity is rare. Uh, we're also grateful what it did for us. Um, you can understand, when we were back in school, we were all you know, gifted students and all that, but still, we had an uncertain future. And for someone like Chetin to come in and say, oh, by the way, you know, you're going to go to school in the US, was like, like a heaven opening up to us. It was just an incredible situation. And I think that can explain our feelings of reverence for Chetin whenever we talk about it. He's our big brother that provided us this great opportunity. Um, not only he provided this amazing gift, but he was also a big brother to us. You know, he truly cared about us. He was always with us, helping us through college, life, and you know, he wanted us to be successful people in society, and he pushed us in his little way, as you know. Uh, it was just great to have him. Um, our school has an anthem, like most schools do, and there's a line that says, our knowledge illuminates this country. Well, it seems to me that Chetin was the light to carry that torch in his lifetime, 
Um, you know, he set the bar so high, uh, I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to definitely try to live up to his ambitions and work out to carry it forward. So we're all very grateful for this amazing thing. Um, you know, Chetan, um, you'll never leave us in our hearts. You're sitting with your loved ones who went before you in heaven and watching over all of us. I would like to finish with an Irish prayer that I really like. Um, may the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. <coughs> may the sun shine warm upon your face. May the rains <coughs> fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, our dear brother Chetan, may the Lord hold you in the palm of his hand. Amen. <laughs>